up, handsome people? I hope you're having a great day because I was having a pretty good day today. I was at a place called Moulton Falls. It's one of my favorite places to revisit. And uh, I love bringing people to the Moulton Falls because, man, I kind of act as like their tour guide and we just have good times. You know what I'm saying? It's just such a beautiful place, such good terrain, sunshine every time. Well, not every time. I mean, this is still the Northwest, so, you know, we do get clouds pretty often. But this is actually not in Oregon. It is in Vancouver, or not Vancouver, Washington. It's in the state of Washington. It's about an hour or 40 minute drive from Portland, depending on where you are in Portland. But man, as you can see, it's just so geared for the more adventurous type, you know? You got all these rocks that you're climbing over and there isn't like a set trail. You just kind of make your way up up the river. And what's cool is that there are a couple of falls, but I'm bringing you along to one of my favorite falls at Moulton Falls. It's uh, definitely, uh, it's got a sweet, tender, a uh, smelly part of my heart and I gotta share it with you man I did kind of take like the hard way <laughs> to get up there but it's fun it's challenging and actually it's kind of ever-changing because as you can see these trees they kind of fall over uh, luckily whenever I'm not there and they kind of create like this sort of obstacle that you got to get around and figure out how you're going to get to the other side. And it's just, man, Moon Falls, dude, you got to check it out. If you're ever in the Portland area, you got to go to Moulton Falls, man. Jeez, what are you doing? I will be so disappointed in you if you do not make it to Moulton Falls. All right. Listen, if you and I ever meet in person. And you want me to like you, you have to like Moulton Falls. That's it. That's all I can say. I'm sorry. It's just the kind of person I am, you know? But anyways, yeah, me and Grizzly are making our way through. We're almost at our location, but this freaking uh, tree happened to die. I have no idea how long ago, but like I said, man, these trees are constantly falling down, so... Actually, if you're afraid of a tree falling on you, this probably isn't the place for you, but that's okay. <laughs> I would completely understand. Oh, that's a loud motorcycle. Yeah, man, check it out. It is oh, oh, so pristine. You know, even Grizzly agrees. Look at him, all happy. Wait, is he shaking his tail? How could you not be shaking your tail, Grizzly? That is blasphemy. You should know this is my favorite place. I can't believe it. So I'm doing my Wim Hof breathing here because I was definitely planning on getting into the water so that I could, uh, you know, keep on staying consistent with my swimming and also my cold exposure. I am trying to increase my cold tolerance because I want to be able to swim all year round, even in the winter time. Unfortunately, I cannot swim at any pools right now because of this whole COVID thing, but honestly, I don't even like swimming in chlorinated pools. I just don't like the chemicals that are in there. I totally prefer swimming in like a river or a lake. So, and to be able to do that, I'm going to have to get used to the cold because, <laughs> uh, you know, in the winter time, I don't know if you know this, but the water gets uh, really, really cold.
Dang, look at that handsome boy. Oh, that is a handsome man right there. <laughs> yeah, um, man, I got to lose weight, dude. That's why that's why I'm also uh, swimming. I just I just want to be a healthier person. Last few years, I have not been. I just have not been eating healthy, exercising and just overall being an unhealthy person. So I really want to change that. I have this really cool goal of swimming across the Columbia River, which is a really wide river that divides Oregon and Washington. I think it's actually, I think it's like a mile across in some places. And it would be really cool to be able to swim across it uh, during the winter time. So doing that, achieving that goal will kind of be like a testament to sort of like, I guess like the training that I've been doing and yeah it, it would just be really cool so i ended up uh snorkeling in the river because i actually haven't checked out what's in the river too often i've been here many many times but i've only really snorkeled in this river not even i've never snorkeled in this spot before but uh farther down the river i've snorkeled probably like two other times and i just wanted to see if there was anything cool in here it's very unlikely that i'll find uh like human debris i'm not gonna find like an iphone up here because not too many people come up to this area so uh this little spot was really cool because it was kind of like an underwater canyon with a, a really like ripping current <laughs> i think that's the term right you can kind of see whirlpools for me it was it was a really cool spot i actually saw but did not record a foot-long trout I was just kind of coasting at the bottom of this canyon. There were some fishermen there um, that I had seen before. I had uh, I had seen that uh, that full size trout. You can see these little baby ones every now and then that I recorded. But yeah, I when I saw that trout, I I came back up to the surface and I looked around to see if the fishermen were there. But they had already walked down the river, and I couldn't let them know that there was a freaking huge sal or not salmon trout like right here but that was all right i got to enjoy it for myself and uh later in the video you will see some pretty awesome slow-mo of the baby trout that i recorded accidentally recorded i didn't even mean to press the slow-mo button but it just kind of happened and honestly it was pretty freaking cool so i decided to leave it in because uh i definitely want to implement some some slow-mo in the future but uh what i want to do right now is just kind of quiet down and let you transition into the slow-mo so you can enjoy it and i'll be back in a minute This is the Holy Land, my absolute favorite place to be. I don't know if this place has a name. It is just farther up the river at Milton Falls. And it is, oh, it is just so pristine, dude. Oh, man, I love this place so much. What's really fun about this place is that, as you can see, there's a lot of white water right here. And uh, because of the white water, it breaks up the surface tension. And 
you can attempt any sort of trick that you want to. I'm, I'm kind of just uh, messing around here, BSing. Uh, this was the first time I had jumped here in quite some time, to be honest. So I was a little nervous. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to, like, psych myself up. But, I mean, you really, even if you mess up, it doesn't hurt that much because uh, the white water just sort of, like I said, breaks the, the surface tension. And you don't get the same kind of slap that you do. There you go. Woo. Got goose a little bit wet. This place is so beautiful. I'm going to have to throw in some slow-mo and add a epic song to it. But unfortunately, I cannot afford the song that I want to use. It's a very famous song with a freaking amazing guitar solo. So I made my own rendition of it. Enjoy.